So next experiment for a transfer lab, it is drop by sine fin minus condensation. So experiment part is already over. Now calculation part we will see. So in the experiment is uh, to find out the uh, heat transfer coefficient in film wise and drop wise condensation. Condensation means, uh, as I already mentioned in the experiment, it is the change of phase from vapor to liquid. During that, uh, liquid droplets uh, will form at a constant temperature, that is during the saturation time. So that uh, liquid droplets, uh, either it will be form in the droplet form or it will be in the continuous form on the surface of the tube. Uh, whenever the heat exchanger process will take place uh, mainly in the evaporator or condenser depending upon the application. So this is very important phenomena because heat transfer uh, should be very much effective. We have to check whether the film wise condensation or drop wise condensation which one will be the effective uh, the heat transfer coefficient. So which one is good? So depending upon the types of material used, types of surfaces, uh, geometries, all those uh, things will come into picture uh, whether it will form the drop ice or film ice type of uh, condensation. So already theory we have covered and also we have covered the experimentation part of what are the readings we have to take. Just we are recalling that uh, here uh, temperatures we have to note. Uh, so T1 will be the water inlet temperature, T2 will be the surface temperature in the copper tube. We have two types of copper tubes. Uh, one is uh, simply copper tube, one, uh, one more is the plated copper tube. So in the plated copper tube, we will find film ice. In the simple copper tube, we will find drop ice condensation. So whenever you talk about drop ice condensation, then the temperature regarding the copper tube, we have to note down that is T2, uh, surface temperature of the copper tube and a vapor temperature in the uh, copper tube glass column. Remember T3 will be the vapor temperature in the copper tube glass column. Then T4 will be the surface temperature in the plated copper tube PCT. Then the P55 will be the vapor temperature in the PCT glass column. T6 will be steam inlet temperature. So that will be same for both the case. And uh, T7 will be the water outlet. It will be the same for uh, uh, water outlet temperature for a copper tube and the T8 will be for your uh, PCT. So according to that, we have already uh, noted down the temperature. So we will form in the tabular column. So T1, T1 will be remains common for both uh, film ice and drop ice. Similarly, T6 that is the steam inlet, water inlet and steam inlet that will be remain same for a uh, 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 means uh, we have to take for both the cases, uh, drop voice and film ice condensation. Here T2 and T3, remember, you have to remember T2 and T3. Since it's a copper tube, so this is for drop voice condensation. Whereas T4 and T5, since it is PCT tube, plated copper tube, so then it is taken out of them for a film ice condensation. Similarly, T7, T7, uh, it is the water outlet for copper tube, so hence it is drop wise and T8 water outlet temperature for PCT, hence it is for uh, your uh, film ice condensation. So this uh, serial number 3 and 4, the temperature will regarding film ice condensation and serial number 1 and 2, these are the temperatures regarding the drop wise condensation. So make sure that you will fill properly this table. Okay, then uh, this is the cooling water flow rate. Uh, we have to set uh, this one is for your drop ice and this one is for your film ice. Uh, so both the uh, if you maintain same flow rate, uh, no issues. Uh, so flow rate uh, you maintain same same flow rate. So no confusion will be there. So we have maintained same same flow rate 20 cc per sec. Okay. So this is the noted down. Uh, now we have to call for calculation. In the calculation, first we have to find out the heat carried away by the, the film ice condensation. That is, uh, we are talking about uh, serial number 3 and 4. So, how to find out? This is the formula. Q is nothing but MCP into delta T for a film ice. So, mass flow rate of film ice, CP of film ice, and the delta T temperature difference. So, mass flow rate will be, uh, uh, you have uh, already noted on the flow rate that you have to convert it into kg per hour. So, cc per second is that, that you have to convert it into kg per hour. 
then cp of uh, water you know that is 4.187 so no issues then delta t delta t is nothing but uh, your uh, water outlet minus water inlet temperature so water outlet uh, remember here it is film y and it is t7 so t7 uh, water outlet t1 will be the common so just note down that temperature substitute over here you will get the qfw so qfw you got like this 0 0.395 0.3935 kilowatt once you got the qfw next we have to find out e transfer coefficient uh, before that lmtd you have to find out lmtd is nothing but logarithmic mean temperature difference for film mass so uh, the inlet side and outlet side temperature difference you have to note down so t3 minus t7 t3 minus t2 so similarly on uh, denominator land you have to keep and uh, note down that temperature substitute and get the value of lmtd once you got the value of lmtd next we have to find out a uh, e transfer coefficient for a uh, film mass so this one also is uh, nothing but uh, q is also nothing but h into area into lmtd so this value you know q value already have found out h naught you need to find out a you have to know because the diameter of uh, uh, tube you know so area of uh, tube you can find out lmtd you have found out so area you have to find out diameter into yellow surface area you need to find out diameter into length so diameter already given in the specification and length also given in the specification note down that diameter and length and uh, substitute and get the area once you got the area lmtd already have found out substitute over here get the value of h naught so h naught will be 1326.8 watt per meter square kelvin so this is for your film wise so film wise you got 1326.8 watt per meter square kelvin of heat transfer coefficient similar way you have to carry out for drop wise so first you have to find out the heat carried away by the drop wise so q is nothing but m into cp into delta t m you know already have set 20 kcc per uh, minute and uh, second that converted into kg per hour cp you know 4.197 here delta t is the water outlet will be t8 minus t1 so you will get 279 next qw substitute over there so you will get QW substitute in this equation m 20 cc converted into kg per hour cp and delta t okay next lmtd you have to note on this uh, formula and you will get uh, lmtd once you got the lmtd next uh, you have to calculate the total heat transfer for drop wise before that area area will remain same as it is uh, earlier case because of both the diameters are same length also the same so area will remain same so substitute and get the value of h naught so in this way you will get the h naught for your film wise and drop wise from the recent table the transfer coefficient for drop wise and the transfer coefficient for film wise condensation okay so in this way you will uh, calculate uh, uh you will do h value for film wise and drop wise and uh, complete the experiment note down this reading in your uh, observer uh, record book and submit submit it during the class hours so this will complete the drop wise and film wise condensation experiment thank you